What's up everybody? So today we are going to be doing mirror block offs on the bike, but instead of buying stuff, you guys know how I like to build stuff. So we actually have this carbon fiber seat cowl that I built for Brandon's bike. You can see it's dried carbon. We just skinned it, but what I'm going to actually do, Brandon has like three of these. So I'm going to cut this apart to make the mirror block off since it's flat right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. Also, if you look at the bike, um, you can see this is going to be another video. I've already shot the video, but we actually had an issue with the LED lights that I put into the headlights. I wanted to do like the aftermarket mod. So we took the whole housing apart and everything, but my dumbass didn't check if it worked before we put it on. So it looks great on this side, but as you can see, this actual LED strip uh, is burnt out right here um, so instead of making that video and kind of bashing the people that sold me the LED strips they're a good company they have great customer service so they're actually sending me another one and I'll go ahead and finish that video to show you guys you know everything how to do this mod yourself but we're gonna actually put this one in here and fix that and go over a few things so that video you know it's definitely coming like i say it's already shot but i just have to finish the last part of it and do it the right way to show you guys you're kind of getting like a brief little uh, sneak peek but if you guys do like what you see here then please hit the subscribe button but today um i'm going to show you what we're doing so basically i got like i showed you that carbon fiber seat cow that we're making the actual block offs for uh excuse me making the actual block offs from um so we'll have carbon fiber instead of like an aluminum or metal ones and what we're going to do is I went to AutoZone and they have, let me show you, sorry about the mess guys. They have these things that are Raptor lights, you know, like you see in the grill, but they're amber running lights. So we're using these as blinkers. So it's not illegal to not have front blinkers. Um, so what I ended up doing just to test fit it off camera is here on the RSV4, you have these little metal pieces that fit into these rubber joints on the fairing stay and the little bolts that go through from the mirrors actually go through this well what's good is on these raptor lights i already cut one off to test it they're really bright leds and it's a little bit bigger this is like a 10 mil thread instead of uh, i think it's a six and when you take that metal thing off excuse me the little metal piece off these will actually fit in perfect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the block off out of carbon fiber well like i say it's already made but we're just going to go ahead and cut that piece to fit and this will get wired into the factory led so we'll have one stainless bolt and then one little led mount that'll fit on top of the carbon fiber so we'll have blinkers it'll look pretty custom and uh i, I think it's going to look cool and if it doesn't we'll rebuild it and do it a different way so definitely stay tuned let's go ahead and get to work all right so we're doing the right side mirror first um, on these stock RSV4s, they actually have, put that down gently because there's nothing wrong with the mirrors. Uh, they have these like little rubber things that go over here. So we're going to use this as the template to put on the carbon fiber, draw it out and actually uh, cut it. So we're going to go ahead and mark that up now, get the Dremel put together and then start cutting. And then, you know, not because I don't, I don't know if they are the same shape or whatnot, but we're actually going to take the left mirror off the bike and do it piece by piece just so we have the exact you know shape of the block off and we're just going to mimic this shape right here so let's go ahead and cut that down Got our first one out this will all get cleaned up with the sandpaper and be perfectly smooth but man it's gonna look good once we drill the holes in here this will look phenomenal so then we're gonna continue using this template like so where we actually went a little bit further what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna mark off where we need to basically clean this up and then once this is done, I think we're just going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and we'll, we'll, uh, grab the other mirror and then get that off. But these are going to look so good. Once these are cleaned up, they're going to go on the bike like so and be carbon fiber block offs. 
I don't know if you really see with the light, but yeah, they're gonna look sweet. So let me uh, go ahead and get this cleaned up and then we can start drilling our holes and get everything ready to mount. All right, so now we got the right tool. I actually got my welder pen that I forgot I had. So now we're gonna put this here and mark that up and basically get it perfect. And then we'll go back and we'll cut the access off of it. So we'll do that now. So now I got the shape that I want it. So now I'm basically gonna go back, file these edges and then clean up all that stuff and make it perfectly smooth. And then we'll test fit it and then uh, place it there to drill our holes basically. But you can see, oh, okay. I don't know which side this goes, there we go. Okay, but you can see that's, that's what we want right there. Just out of carbon fiber. So we'll go ahead and uh, clean this up real quick. So I used, I used just a little bit of uh, the carbon choke cleaner. It was a little bit easier for those paint sticks, but as you can see, we got that dry carbon fiber now. So what I'm probably gonna do is we're gonna probably clear it just to make sure it doesn't you know, fade with the sun because this is just epoxy on there. It's just skinned. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and epoxy of that and uh, finish this up. Looks pretty good though, huh? and then we'll go ahead and drill our holes. All right, so now I got the other mirror off, so we're gonna go ahead and do the left side now. Same thing, just like the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the template, like so, and then uh, we'll mark it out, cut it out, and make another one of those. All right, so now we have both pieces cut out, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some double-sided tape because they fit, you can see, they should be the exact shape once you turn them over like that. So you can see there's some differences. So I'm gonna double side tape, get it where I want, and then I'm actually gonna take the Dremel again and trim them so they're the both exact shape. All right, so I have the double side tape on the one side. I'll go ahead and fit the two sides and then trim them up. All right, so now we have them to the perfect shape. As you can see, both sides are perfectly symmetrical. So now we'll take the 1500 grit and we will just uh, go ahead and clean up all these burrs and rough edges, kind of get it uh, ready for finishing. Then what we're gonna end up doing is we'll drill the holes, clear coat it, and get it ready to install. Hey, if you guys like what I do here or you just like some really, really cool ass apparel, um, this is our spring line of the new Beard Moto. And uh, even if you don't have a beard or you don't ride motorcycles, if you like the channel here, then go ahead and pick one of these up to support us. We've got tanks, we've got shirts, we've got v-necks, we even have coffee cups for your mom and dad on Mother's and Father's Day. They come in pink and lime green for all you Cowie fans. Now also, if you just want to help out and buy something real small to put on your truck or your car or your bike just to help out the channel, we got these really cool spring edition black label beard moto stickers so definitely pick one of those up they go good on a windscreen they go good on a little thing especially on black vehicles or white vehicles but if you do like you know what we do here on the channel then please pick up some of that stuff just to help out and support thanks guys all right so i got those cleaned up so let's go ahead and uh i'll wipe them down with the carbon choke cleaner just to get all the paint marks and all the you know gunked up glues and all that stuff All right, so we have our pieces done. So uh, let's go ahead and get some holes drilled, get them mounted on the bike just to test fit. And then uh, we'll go ahead and paint those and basically get everything ready to install, that easy. All right, so if you're doing this on your bike, one thing I wanna go ahead and note, um, 
on the stock bike it actually has three holes let me show you real quick it has three holes two bolt holes and then one for the wiring to go through the way that we're setting it up is we're not going to drill the third hole because one of the bolts that we're using is actually an led light bulb that'll get wired in to the turn signal so we'll actually have turn signals yeah they want like 200 bucks for a set of led block offs so now we got our carbon fiber block offs we're going to use these templates to mount the two holes get them drilled and then the bottoms because you can see they're actually applied to plastic abs plastic it's just skinned so what we're going to actually do is mask off the carbon fiber and then hit the rest with flat black before it gets clear code so uh yeah let's go ahead and uh get the next step done and get the holes drilled all right guys so i got the holes drilled got the led light fitted in just to make sure it was the perfect uh diameter i got it in there kind of tight so that way it's not going to move too much so then this we're going to wire it up last but this should fit through like that as you can see let me grab one of these screws we got for it sorry about the mess guys it's a long list of projects with the bike so we got everything kind of done at one time and then that should go like that and that's it so we'll go ahead and get it wired up like i said get that thing painted finished but that's how it's gonna look one stainless one led i wish they had black stainless but they didn't um but yeah that looks pretty good what do you guys think let's go ahead and uh do the other one get it drilled out and then we will uh basically get it mocked up get it painted and then get done all right guys so we got the first mock-up nothing's completely uh bolted on yet like i say it's just mocked up they're still gonna get painted but that's what it's gonna look like i mean it doesn't look too bad i know the leds look a little bulky you know like from the side but the thing is i wanted it to still be legal and have turn signals in the front so they're super bright leds so you'll see them flash it's just i wanted something that was still legal but didn't have to have mirrors no more so i'm gonna go ahead and pull these off get them painted and then we'll go ahead and get it installed and see how it looks all right so they are all painted on the bottom might still be a little tacky but you can see we did all flat black so now you can't see the actual white of the plastic so i'm just gonna let those bake in the sun for about five ten minutes let the paint cure and then after that we'll go ahead and install it on the bike and see how it looks Ooh, all right guys we're all done so uh as you can see now we have the carbon fiber mirror block offs and just to show you now don't mind the wiring i ran out of male female bullet connectors so I'll end up putting connectors on this. I just, I ran out of them. So I'm going to go to the store and get some. But uh, yeah, those headlights look so good. It just, oh, it's messed up. Don't worry. We're going to fix that. But check this out. So here's our blinkers. The camera's not even picking up how bright it really is. But we actually have legal blinkers in there and mirror block offs. So that's how you can do basically a ten dollar mod and uh get the results you want all right guys thanks as always for watching if you're new to the channel and you like what you see don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button uh give this video a like if it taught you anything or uh give it a dislike if you hate me for any reason but uh thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next video